Hi, Jen of Israel with the story of her pomegranates, which is a long story. Anybody who's following me on uh, face uh, on uh, social media will know my struggles. About four years, one year, um, I was watering them and I forgot to water them a couple days and I gave them extra water and they, um, they burst open. And now I've got them on a drip system, which you can't really see here. Here, here. A drip system that has about a two liter um, uh, drip here. There's, it's got some undergrowth here. Anyway, so that was one year. So now I'm, I've got a, 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 an hour a day, eight liters of water. So that's clear. That's not going to happen again. Then I came out here and um, I, they were all stung. So I would take good care of them and they were all stung. And my friend said, you got to cover them when they're still green. Really? Bring it in here. Bring it in here. you got to cover it when they're still green. So I have um, um, made these little things from curtains that I don't need anymore and I uh, put it on there and hopefully see how they're I, I do it I do it all the time they have different ages that they uh, they uh, ripen or they come uh, you know they have a flower and for a long time they flower okay so you you put that on so that you don't get them stung and I, I got one in here I saved it that's actually stung and I can pick it out here there, that's what it looks like. It's a moth that uh, stings, like lays eggs, and then they go in there and lay an egg, and it's ruined. And I tell you, I had two years where it was heartbreaking. One year, I realized I needed to cover them, but I didn't cover them soon enough, so they had all those moths in these beautiful bags. And then this year, I'm, I got early. My friend who's a, what are the people who take care of uh, agronomists? Agronomists, I'm talking to my daughter. Uh, this time I need her to help because usually I hold it with one hand. I need two hands for this job. Anyway, so she told me they, the study shows, they like to, um, they're stung when they're still green. So then you take this and you throw it far away uh, so that it's away from your plant. Okay, so that's, that's the other thing that we learned. Oh, one more thing is, is when it's still in a flower stage, um, they, it has a male flower and a female. So then that will pollinate between the two. Uh, so they, that's my story of my pomegranates. I so am excited. I'm sure it's going to happen this time. Great hopes. Um, I'm going to update when I pick them in the fall during uh, Sukkot. Um, that's what people hang them from the tree and they're so fantastic. You put them in salads and kids love to eat them. I'm going to show you also um, how to get the seeds out. And that's interesting too. I've learned that through a chef that showed me how to do it. There's two ways, but we'll talk about it in the fall. In Sukkot, you hang them. They're so lovely decorated. And so this is my tree. I've got four of them and I have great hopes that it's going to do well. Yell, take the camera around and show those pretty. I got my B&B again uh, sign here and look at it. Ah, I didn't do this. It happened naturally. Two pomegranates over my sign. It's like gonna be a B&B. Yo, go, take, take a picture. That's our B&B. We invite people to come stay with us sometimes, but right now it's Corona. So good times. That's my story. I have great hopes that we did it right this time. Wait for a couple more months and it's gonna be beautiful. So good day.